I'm Claire and today I'm delighted to announce that I'm going to be a judge for the 2019 Booktube SFF Awards. If you haven't heard of the Booktube SFF Awards, they are a set of awards we give out every year for science fiction and fantasy works, books, short stories, things like that, and they are given out by the Booktube SFF community. Now Booktube is a section of YouTube where we talk about books pretty obsessively, and Booktube SFF is a subset of Booktube where we specifically talk a lot about science fiction, fantasy, and genre fiction in in general. On this channel I make a lot of booktube SFF videos but of course the booktube SFF community is not only content creators, not just people making videos, but it's also people watching those videos, commenting on those videos, engaging with the conversation. Now as someone who watches a lot of booktube SFF myself I am super excited to participate in the booktube SFF awards again this year but in a different capacity. This year we've got three new judges. My Myself, James from James Shatham and Cass from What Cass Reads. And of course we also have our returning judges, Chelsea from The Reading Outlaw, Thomas from SFF 180, Sam from Thoughts on Tomes, Eleanor from Eleanor Reads Books, Connor from Connor O'Brien, Rachel from Colinardi, and once again we are joined by Elizabeth over at Books and Pieces who is acting as an administrator for the awards again this year and she has given all of us a really handy cheat sheet with all of the details and informations about the dates of nominations and future like booktube SFF babbles and all of that so if I'm looking at my phone that is what I am looking at. <laughs> Judging for the categories this year is going to work the same way as it has in previous years where all of us will come together to judge the best science fiction novel and the best fantasy novel categories but then we are kind of splitting the other categories between us and each of us are judging a few of them. I'm going to be in the judging panel for short fiction and graphic works and I'm really excited about both of these because I read a lot of both of these things. As for a date, nominations open today the 28th of January and will close on the 11th of February. The shortlist will be announced on the 18th of February and the read-alongs will go from the 1st of March to the 31st of May. We'll be voting from the 1st to the 8th of June and then we'll have a live stream announcing the result around mid to late June. Of course we'll confirm the date closer to that time. I'll put a link to the website in the description below if you want to go and check full details as well as links to all of the channels that I mentioned earlier but I'm gonna give you some key points of eligibility right now so that you can have an, an idea of the kind of works that we're talking about. So all of the works that we are nominating have to fall in the science fiction, fantasy or speculative fiction genres and they have to be original works of fiction. That's kind of the baseline here. All works have to be either first published in English in 2018 or published outside of the USA prior to 2018 and published by a US-based publishing house in 2018. This is because often when things are published outside of the US first they don't get as much buzz and so you can miss out on a really great work that you might have wanted to nominate because you didn't hear about it. And then in the same vein if something was self-published before 2018 and it gets published by a professional publishing house in 2018 it is still eligible and it's for the same reason because it is sometimes difficult to know what's coming out with self-published works because there are a lot of them and they don't get as much marketing as professionally published books. The other major rule is that if something is part of a series only the first, second and third work in that series are eligible to be nominated because if you nominate like book 10 in a series then you're making all of the judges and all of the voters potentially have to read through lots and lots of work that they might not have time to read through before voting so we prefer to make it a little bit easier for people to engage with the awards uh, by not giving them quite as much homework. Again there are more detailed rules on the website but if you have any questions about eligibility you can tweet us, ask us on Goodreads or email us at booktubesffawards at gmail.com. And now for the Booktube SFF Babbles which are a set of video prompts and ideas that we give out uh, with the Booktube SFF Awards to say this week we're going to make videos about this particular topic so that we as a community can have a conversation about that particular topic. Now we are 
working hard on putting together a program of really cool prompts and ideas for the booktube sff babbles we're not quite finished but we can tell you right now that the first booktube sff babble topic is going to be your recommended nominations so if you have favorite works of sff that were published in 2018 and you want to tell everybody about it and tell people to put it on their nomination ballots for the booktube sff awards now is your time to start preparing that video to start uh, campaigning for those books we'll give out more details about the booktube sff babbles and all the upcoming topics for them on our social media in the next few weeks so do keep an eye on those and i think that's everything <laughs> I hope I haven't forgotten anything. I will try and put as much info as I can in the description box below. Please do ask any questions if you have them in the comments below. And again, I am so, so excited to be participating in the Booktube SFF Awards as a judge. This is really pretty cool. Uh, I didn't expect to be brought in. And so like, it was really cool. Thanks. I'm gonna stop nerding out about it now. Bye. If you'd like to see more from me, you can check out a previous video on screen right now. And if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button that's on my face for a new video from me every week. I've been Claire, thanks so much for watching and see you soon.